So, welcome everyone, uh, at least a couple of viewers. Uh, my name is Paul. I work here at the Techify. And we're going to have a short demo. I'm just going to show you how to set up your account uh, and some uh, best practices along the way. Uh, let's just give it a couple of minutes because I think we're waiting for some people to join. So let's wait just one minute. Uh, we'll see if we can pick up a couple of viewers. Meantime, uh, shoot questions at any time. Give a demo. Uh, you post the questions in the chat in this Hangout, which is located up here. Uh, you, we sometimes have experienced a couple of some lag when doing this. So post it uh, immediately as we think of it, and I'll try to pick them up as, as we go along. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, let's move into our two. And I will share my screen with you. This looks a bit weird. So, I hope you can see this now. Uh, that looks good. So, basically, first thing you do when you get into the tool is you just go into the actual uh, dashboard you log in. Uh, this is the first view you will have. You will have your added domains, and you will be able to sort of add a new domain. First time, obviously, you will have nothing here, but we prepared some for you for today. Uh, if you want to add a domain, simply click Add. You just paste in the URL, for example, example.com, add it. And then we want you to verify ownership. But this is obviously for your own safety. So no one could use the Tectify towards your website without you sort of knowing it or agreeing to it. Use either use analytics or you download a file, use the CMS, use meta description or, or DNS. Simply put it in and verify. So that's just a simple way of getting started, adding your domain. When that is done, you will have this view. Then you simply start your test. And it will run for a bit differently depending on the size of your site and how complex it is for us to test. And it could be from anything from a couple of minutes to up to an hour. A bit dependent on your uh, on your, just the size of your page. Then one of the most important thing: adjust your uh, scan schedule. I can't stress this enough. This is an extremely important feature of our tool is that you should schedule the scans so that they fit, sort of, so they, you test your site continuously. And this is not just because, uh, not just because uh, you want it to run all the time. Uh, you might, might not do changes to your page, but we continue, con constantly update the tool uh, with new vulnerabilities. So you should have it run frequently. And there were, there's another, advantage of having it uh, run frequently. So I can't stress this enough. You can basically choose if you want every seventh day, 14th or 30th day. Uh, scan all the ones to disable. But I can really stress that you do it, and you do it quite frequently. Uh, you can also choose to do it during certain times of the day. Uh, so, so that you can set maybe, yeah, only during night time or whatsoever, according to your preferences. 
Uh, but I can't stress this enough to actually go in and make sure that you have the schedule you want. Uh, this is because uh, we strongly believe that security is a continuous thing. And uh, if, if we are to help you in your work and development, uh, you should definitely have a scan scheduled. Cool. So, I'm going to stop that one actually, and then we look. So, what do you get then uh, when you have your actual findings? You will get a list from us based on our results, which will um, basically list the findings we found uh, within Scan. For example, here you have a WordPress payback vulnerability. Uh, this means that uh, you can actually use this website to attack another website and amplify the effect of that attack. Uh, obviously not a good thing. Uh, we will present to you what that means. Uh, we will present to you what will happen. And also some where we found it in the code and how you go around to fix it. Then, the important thing is that you can work with your findings. You can mark it as when you're done with it. You can mark it as fixed. You can go visit it if you want. Uh, if you think that, yeah, I understand this is a problem, but I will not do anything with it, and you still don't want it to be uh, a part of your uh, of the report, you want to make a cleaner report, then you can accept risk, or you can mark it as false positive. Then you will. That is basically yours telling us that yes, you have marked this as a vulnerability. I don't think it's a vulnerability. And when you do that, add some information. Uh, this is not a problem. Please check. Then we will actually take a look at it and uh, have, have a look at it for you uh, and uh, make sure. Whether or not it's uh, check it, whether or not it's a vulnerability, uh, and you from that you will be able to sort of continue your work. Uh, and then you can see that it also disappears from the list. So this is actually you can work with it as a to-do list basically, and go from top to bottom and uh, basically take them off uh, as you solve them. Uh, and then when you schedule the report, you will have one um, that's actually, yeah, for then for the next report, you will be a new list that you can start working on. Great. Uh, so, to another critical part, or critical to a sort of important part of our uh, work, and also why we really stress the need for having a schedule scan, is that you can use your integrations. If you would like to sort of push the findings to, for example, let's say Slack, then you use, uh, I can post all these guides in the chat uh, afterwards, but basically set it up with a webhook, and then you could choose what type of findings. Uh, I want to uh, push information when I start a scan, I want to push when the scan is finished, I want to put credit goals, for example, and then you Bam. Shoot it, and it will appear in the channel of your shorts, basically. Same thing on HipChat and on PageDuty, you can set up sort of the preferences of how you want to um, act in PageDuty. And then the results will end up in Slack. It will look, for example, like this. Yes, uh, we have found a media vulnerability. Um, go and check the report, basically. This means that you will not. You don't have to go into TextFed all the time. You basically just do it when you feel like it's necessary. So that's uh, that's a big part of the uh, part of our tool actually. That you have your schedule scans running, and then we integrate seamlessly with your uh, other tools that you use. Please also, since we we are developing this tool together with you, uh, our users, and uh, please uh, tell us if you have any uh, suggestions about the type of tools you would like us to integrate with. Uh, we are more than happy to get that type of feedback. For example, we will prioritize our uh, integration program based on your feedback, basically. Uh, 
Then, another important thing to look at is your settings. Here, obviously, you have your frequency. Uh, you will, this is basically where you work and you make sure that the test is done as good as possible. You, uh, for example, you uh, allow or disallow uh, us to scan for uh, subdomains. Here you can, on this one, scan subdomains. Yeah, then we will look for the normal one, like uh, blog and uh, help and uh, admin or whatever. Uh, you can also add subdomains to the list. Uh, if there's anyone well, we you know, don't think we will find. Same thing with paths. If you want us to look for certain paths that you think we might not find, then you just add it here. Uh, or if there's any paths you don't want us to look at, you just um, simply disallow it. Um, then if you look at the advanced settings, uh, here, for example, yes, you can set your custom cookie, you can set your custom header, uh, you can make sure to scan as different devices. Uh, this one is quite interesting, active security testing. Here you can actually choose which type of testing we should do. So this is the OS top 10. And from here, for example, that obviously they all are marked from the beginning. But you could be some, yeah, for some reason you don't want us to look for uh, scripting. Then we won't do it. So you basically just take them off. Obviously, our recommendation is that you look for everything, but you might have a reason for not to. Other thing that's good to know is that we, uh, by default, do not uh, uh, trigger any type of tracking uh, metrics. So uh, basically, uh, you will be able to, yeah. Uh, no Google Analytics will really uh, target the uh, sort of start showing a lot of traffic and so on. So you will not have a marketing department coming and uh, hustling you. Uh, another good thing that could be good to know is that, of course, you work in a team. Uh, you have your Slack channels together and everything, but you can also invite your teammates to, uh, to uh, your account. Meaning that you can be in there and uh, at the same time do your scans, do your tests as well. That's done during under account and organization. Here you basically type in your colleague's name. For example, I choose Enrique there, sending an invite. Yes, I will send, I'm sure, and then it's divided. Uh, you can also see this invited and you can revoke the invitation as, as you want. You can always see who's in the organization. You will, you're also able to be in several organizations if you would like. Then that is changed here. I will continue to be in this one. Other things, let's see if there's any questions at this point. Uh, no questions yet in the chat, but I'll just continue. Um, so, other cool thing that could be good to know is that you are able to add the same domain twice and use different settings. You can add one domain, uh, example.com, twice, and then in one example, you would, uh, well, let's say, uh, text5.com. In one setting, you would allow some domains, for example, and in another setting, you will disallow. Uh, or you would use it as in one, uh, one, uh, in one profile, you will use, yes, then I'm an iPhone. And in the other one, I'm a, a normal desktop computer. So that's uh, pretty much what you can do. You could also uh, do it so that in one, you have a different type of, um, if you want the, the information to go to different type of channels, uh, then you can sort of do integrations, different integrations in the different slots. 
through some advantages of building uh, different sort of uh, test profiles on your different accounts. Uh, the other thing that could be cool to know is that this, for example, this is the M-Rock setup, meaning this is used for uh, reaching staging environments. So if you, for example, want us to access your staging environment, it's uh, most likely sort of the setup on your own machine. Then you just allow uh, one single uh, sort of VPN access, and we will access that sort of instance. I can put, put up a guide in the chat later on uh, for you to help you uh, to set it up. No questions? Uh, then I think uh, I'm pretty much done to, uh, to sort of uh, stress certain important things. Always schedule your scans. Can't stress this enough. Have a recurring scan on. Uh, that will help you in your work uh, tremendously. Uh, make sure to put up your integrations so you very much easier to share your results. And you can also uh, yeah, sleep better at night and let us do the work uh, and get full power. And make sure to, um, to invite your team members. That will make life easier for you and you will be able to uh, yeah, share the results in a much easier way. So, I hope this was meaningful. Uh, reach out at any time uh, on Twitter or support at Techify. Uh, send directly to me if you like. Uh, and uh, other than that, I hope you continue enjoying the uh, use of the Techify. And uh, again, make sure to schedule those guys, use the integrations, and invite your team members. Perfect. Have a good one, everyone. Bye bye.